Certain Ashes of War in Elden Ring can be extremely powerful or extremely cool or fun, so we've rounded together seven of the good ones for you guys so that you don't have to go looking for them in the open world. First up is Gravitas. This works on all melee weapons that are not small. It's a skill originating from the Alabaster Lords. You essentially thrust the armament into the ground to create a gravity well. In addition to dealing damage, it also pulls all of the enemies around you in towards you. It's a really good AoE option for your Ash of War, as well as having that stagger effect with the pull. It's looted from the Slender Wayfarer, which you can find roaming by the beachside, near the Stone Arch, near the seaside ruined Site of Grace in the south of Limgrave. Essentially just jump down on the boost spot to safely land, kill the enemy, loot him, and you have this Ash of War. Next up is Prelate's Charge. This works on all large and colossal axes and hammers. You slam the armament into the ground to create a surge of flames and then charge forward while engulfed in these flames, holding it down to charge further and then releasing to do an upward strike with fire. This one's found from a dung beetle that's hanging in a tree located in a fire monk campsite. We ran here from the first church of Marika Grace Point. You'll find it by looking near the chain bridge southeast of the Guardian's garrison. Next up is Thunderbolt. This works on all melee armaments. It's a skill used by the capital's ancient dragon cult. You raise your armament aloft to cool down a bolt of lightning, which can be fired in rapid succession. This one's absolutely fantastic and is dropped by a tear beetle found in Lindell, the royal capital, found really close to the avenue balcony grace point. Next is Lightning Ram. This is a really fun one and it works on all melee armaments. It's inspired by tumbling rams. You first let out a funny ram noise, then tumble forwards clad in lightning, and you can repeat this in rapid succession to roll around like Sonic the Hedgehog. It can be found just to the southwest of the Rampart side path. It's very fitting as there's also lightning and rams that can be found in the same area. Next up is a really cool one, the Bloodhound Step, which can be used on all melee armaments as well. This skill allows the user to become temporarily invisible while dodging at high speed. You move faster and travel further than a regular quit step or dodge roll. The skill can be used to circle around locked on enemies as well. It's dropped by the Knight's Cavalry at the bridge in front of Len's Rise Tower in Dragon Barrow. This boss can be killed by using the poison traps in the hill behind him for a very easy 42k runes as well as this Ash of War. Next up is the Vow of the Indomitable. This can be used on all shields. It's a skill of the ancient warriors of the Erd Tree. You hold your shield aloft to imbue yourself with golden power, granting momentary invincibility. In Lyurnia of the Lakes, dropped by the Teardrop Scarab in the southwestern swampy area of the map, just south of the Folly of the Lake Grace Point, you'll find this Ash of War and it's great if you like your guard points. Next up is the Hawfrost Stomp. This can be used on all melee armaments. It's extremely powerful and we will talk about this one more in a future video, but essentially you do a stomp that spreads a trail of freezing mist from the ground. The mist applies a frost status effect as well. It's in Leonia of the Lakes in the northwestern area. It's dropped by an invisible scarab that can be found roaming a shallow body of water to the southeast of Carrier Manor. Look for the glowing footprints, they run around really quickly, stand in its pathway and attack it when it runs past you, and you'll kill it and you'll get this Ash of War. If you found any of these helpful or you plan to go and get them, make sure to let us know in the comments which one you're going to go and get, and click like down below while you're at it, and maybe you will be interested in this video on the screen now, because we have lots of Elden Ring tips, guides, locations, and helpful stuff for you guys that you don't want to miss out on.